Yo, it's your boy Senkozen. Let me ask you a question. Think really hard about this, okay? When you think of Sonic, what is the first thing that comes to mind? For me, it's hype, it's speed, it's radical. Something that I believe Sonic hasn't had in years. Let's not beat around the bush. My boy Sonic has lost his jib. Let's be real here. And yes, I am actually in the non-minority. People actually disagree with me on this. But how about let's talk this out and see if I can bring you to my side. When I was a wee little kid playing Sonic Rush on the DS and Sonic Heroes on the GameCube as nine years old, to me, what made him so cool wasn't that he was funny or made fourth wall breaking oh. jokes like an old man. It was him being the fastest thing alive and doing things his way. He had that Spider-Man like energy and Recess, the boys only wanted to do one thing and that was to be the fastest kid at Recess. And that was my goal. I wanted to be the fastest. Did I achieve that goal? No. That's why I played Sonic. But Let's try to think on this. I want you to think really hard. Try to remember the last good Sonic game where Sonic actually had his sauce, his drip, his style. To me, the last good Sonic game made by Sega was Sonic Unleashed. So we gotta go back in time to 2008. I was only eight years old. Sonic Unleashed went from being the second worst Sonic game ever created, being right after Sonic 06, to being the best Sonic game ever made. The people of that time just couldn't see it yet, I guess. You cannot go a week without seen someone saying just how good this game was just how much sauce he had in this game in 2008 and 2009 you couldn't go anywhere without seeing that screaming face people of the time really hated my boy back then but eight-year-old me i absolutely loved it like look at him my boy sonic was so fast he was so fast he would act chill and that's what made him so cool he had drip i don't want to talk about the opening cutscene because people have made full-fledged videos for this intro cutscene alone so i don't want to talk about that for too long to me, this is just a prime example of how Sonic should act and look. The cockiness, the Spider-Man-like jokes, the 4K quality he has on him. They did not go easy on my boy. They made him squeaky clean. Sega, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to hire that studio again. Let them make the intro cutscene for Sonic Frontiers. You guys gotta hire these people again, man. They did too good of a job. Another few games where Sonic still had his drip had to have been the adventure games. I'm gonna to be honest, I never played those games. You I know, what? I know, I would play them if Sega gave us the remakes, but so I'm still waiting on that. I'm waiting on those remakes. Sonic in those games had that teen re re rebel phase, unlike Mario, who follows the books. A guilty party sits among us and just goes to point A to point B. My boy Sonic went to point A to point Z to point one, two, three. He was running from the popo, skateboarding down a mountain, and you could tell he was a 90s boy. He drunk those Mountain Dews like they were nothing. You ain't hiding that, Sonic. 2006 to 2009 were the darkest years in Sonic's life, but honestly, I didn't even feel it. My boy Sonic was still upbeat, eating chili dogs, drinking some Kool-Aid. I didn't even know he was bankrupt. This may come to a shock to some of you guys, but I actually really love Sonic 06. It was my dream game. I didn't have an Xbox at the time, so I couldn't even play it. All I could do was watch AMVs of his world. Oh my god! Man, those were the days. That really takes me back. And when I finally played it, I enjoyed it. I didn't even see any of the bugs, honestly, because I was just so hyped that I finally got to play my dream game. But then, everything oh changed in 2010. Sonic games just weren't doing so hot. So Sega had to make a move. They had to save their booty and their money. Was it to spend more time making the games? No. Was it to put more time, money, and love into the games? No. It was to change the voice actors. Oh, it still hurts to say it. Look. I love the new Sonic cast, don't get me wrong, but 10 year old me, when I heard that news, I was floored. My brain exploded with sadness. My world was shattering. Sonic Colors was the day Sonic became uncool, to me at least. He went from being the chill, doing what he wants guy, the radical OG, having fun in a blast. He went from that guy to being a goofy, one-liner jokes, dumb dude. He was a different guy. This was not my man. Who, whose man is this? Don't get me wrong. That intro for Sonic Colors was fire straight 
beautiful 4K Delicioso. I played that game from start to finish like 10 times, but 10 year old me, I just did not get that same hype feeling anymore. That hype feeling that Sonic Unleashed and Sonic 06 gave me was gone. Nowhere to be found reduced to atoms. They switched my boy Sonic from an anime protagonist to a family guy. You know his speed, that thing that made him so cool. Nah, 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 take, take, take that away from him. Make him slow. His jokes, what are those? He's just your normal dude, but different. They just kept pushing this new Sonic after game, after game, after game. But I still held out hope, you know? I thought, hey, with this new Sonic game, maybe, just maybe they can bring back the serious Sonic again. The anime protagonist Sonic. Where any of the games bad? No, they were okay games, but they just weren't solid. They didn't capture what Sonic had. Sonic's energy. Just when I thought they finally brought back his sauce, they did the unthinkable. Do you want to know the feeling I got when I first played Sonic Forces? Absolutely nothing. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel hyped like for when I was playing Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Forces was just a boring and lifeless game that I don't even remember playing. It's gone from my memory. My mind is blank of that game. But I don't want to be too negative here. I did like the custom characters, but honestly, that's it. The levels were super short. The levels felt uninspired. But most importantly, not only did they make my boy Sonic weak, they did something that you should never do to a powerful character. They changed his power. They made his power from super speed to super Friendship cannot be defeated. Wrong, loser. The things that can't be defeated are heart, soul, and the bonds of friendship. Mm -hmm. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't spread over every day. Oh. They really pulled a fairy tale with Sonic in this game. Who's writing these stories? Sega, whose man is this? The too fast boy was gone, and now all that was left was a blue shell. From the lackluster story and the brain dead gameplay, Sonic Forces straight up killed so many characters in this game, story wise. Or you know what? Maybe I'm just the problem. Maybe I just grew up. But with Sonic, he just isn't hitting anymore because his drip, his coolness, it died for me at least. But that doesn't mean he can't get it back. If you lose your toy, if you lose your food, you can always get a new one. You can always try to find your toy again. What kind of analogy am I trying to make? Just hear me out, will you? Maybe, just maybe, a new game will come out. A Sonic game, like Sonic Frontiers. Maybe Sonic Frontiers will be that game that will make Sonic cool again. But I really think Sonic can make a comeback. It's never too late to be cool again. What do you guys think? Has Sonic lost his sauce? Will Sonic Frontiers be a good game? Make sure to comment down below and subscribe. And it's free. You guys like free, don't ya? I know I do. Anyways, I'll see you guys later with more Sonic content. Peace and love. See ya guys.